My name is Melissa Conman taylor My name is Tina Carpenter. My name is Keith Doherty. My name is Julie Stanton. My name is Leslie Gordon-Simmons. My name is Erin Dolan. The most rewarding part of teaching at UGA is, of course, working with the most magnificent, worldly students. This is a world-class global institution, and I get to share ideas with wonderful thinkers from around the world. I light up when I go into a room of students. There is just so much energy here. There is so much um, growth and excitement to learn, but also excitement to just be a good human. And enjoying that learning together just makes it that much more exciting. I think the most rewarding part of teaching is the aha moment. What's really neat is when you get one of those students who have to come back you know, several times and you've got to work with them, and then finally they get it and they go aha. And so it's really neat to see everybody at all paces uh, get better. The most rewarding part of teaching at UTA is the opportunity to work with amazing students. They're bright and motivated scholars, but they're also kind and interesting people. And it's really just a privilege to be a small part of their academic journey. We attract such a fantastic pool of students uh, to, that come to UGA. Watching them blossom and grow as students and scholars uh, is really a rewarding and satisfying part of the experience. And the university is really invested in promoting and helping uh, faculty develop into the best teachers they can be because they really value excellent teaching. One of the most rewarding parts of teaching for me is when I see students shift from being consumers of knowledge, so really focusing on remembering all the information and memorizing facts, to being users of that knowledge when they're able to take what they're learning, identify the underlying principles, and apply it to new situations. I want my students to take away both creativity and courage. You know, the same problems and questions arise endlessly in the field of education and teaching and learning language, but it's what they can bring that is new from their perspective, their experiences, and this time that can help them to creatively address these problems and have the courage to do so in new and innovative ways. I would love for my students to take away excitement for learning, really trying to understand how to find their passion and how to find the thing that excites them and that makes them want to learn every day. I think the big takeaway I'd like them to have is just an understanding of how to think constructively and how to evaluate their thoughts, gathering data, you know, reflecting on what this means. Because I don't expect everybody to be a political scientist in the future. What I expect them to do is maybe think independently you know, and represent UGA. So it's important to me that students develop the knowledge and skills they need for their future career, but equally as important is the chance to develop a love of learning, a sense of belonging in science, and then a feeling of pride that they accomplished something that they did not know was possible, but that I saw that potential in them. I want to awaken their sociological imagination so that they're able to connect the information that they're learning in class to larger social issues. I want to uh, encourage the students to take the role of the other, and that involves putting themselves in the place of people who are different from them. It allows them to expand their understanding of the world, broaden their perspective, and reflect on their own positionality. What I hope students get from my classes is the idea that they aren't just consumers of knowledge, they can actually not only use that knowledge to make a difference in the world, but they can produce that knowledge by engaging in research as learners.